All right, after a four week break from production, prepping for my first day back, we're gonna be doing two camera interviews, two camera B-roll, it's a medical facility, shooting a grand opening of it, and interviews with doctors and staff. It's also gonna be a still photographer there, and I may break out the gimbal at the end of the day and just shoot some moving shots of all the rooms. Actually, I'm definitely gonna do that. So just getting the cameras prepped right now. I already prepped camera A. I think we'll be able to shoot all day on just the kit, what I call my kit zooms, 28 to 135 full frame, Sony E-mount. And we're gonna be doing a bunch of handheld, a walk and talk tour. So I do wish these lenses were a little wider, but 28 mil full frame will make it work. I like them because they have the uh, stabilization. So I already did camera A, and normally I would just save to an SD card, but to do a walkthrough here instead, I'll record me manually setting up the second camera. So I think the last job I did on these cameras was broadcast TV, so we were in video camera mode, which, no, this one's different. Okay, so user. Yeah, shooting mode, we're gonna go from, uh, what does SDR stand for? Standard dynamic range to Cine EI. And then record format for this one. Agency requested 2997. And sensor areas full frame 6K, AVCI codec, which is the highest. And we're gonna shoot UHD 3840, 2160. And then, uh, yeah, I don't really care about the ISO settings. We'll probably run out of focus. Slow and quick doesn't matter. Monitor LUT. I was doing live shots, broadcast TV. So we're using Rick 709 800. I'm going to switch the LUT to S709. And I'm going to go internal record M LUT off. They want S log 3 as the record. And then monitor out is on as MLUT. And let me go back here and just make sure I did that right. Yeah, monitor LUT is S709. And then I think the only other thing I gotta do is format and label my first card. So I'm gonna call this camera B. Oh, doesn't want a card in there first. this can't find the knob B what do you mean cannot proceed come on title that was my mistake okay it's gonna be B I got a backspace Ugh. B Card one, format, ah, scroll wheel, false, click, all right, well that's formatting, let me figure out my audio assignments, B cam is going to use an internal mic, no, I'm going to go external, I got a little shotgun on there. External, external, I think I'm going to go auto, and three and four, I'm just going to keep off or zero, and let's just check audio, check, 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 huh, it's on channel two. Oh, yeah, it's matched into two, okay, that's cool, we can do that, so let's go auto, external, I'll go manual on one in case we patch something in. So that's just a reference track. I am gonna jam sync these two cameras. I really only need them jammed. No, we do have the handheld tour. So I was thinking I would just run a BNC between the two for the interviews. And I'm going to direct patch our interview audio to the camera. I do have my mixer. I'm going to bring it, but I don't, it's overkill. Single person doctor interviews. 
Uh, yeah, maybe I'll try out the, um, try out, I've used them a couple times, the locket boxes. Let me think, where are those? They might be in the van, in my cabinet. All right, yeah, the locket boxes were right where they're supposed to be, in the mixer bag. So, I've never done this. This is my first time. 25 years of watching people do this on my cameras. Never been the guy to jam them with the Denneke boxes. Okay, so, I'm in the time code menu. I gotta set the current time. It is 1653. Oops. Fifty-three. Set. Drop frame. Free run preset. Cool with all that. I wonder what time zone these cameras are in. They might be Pacific, and I'm now Central. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, and then I guess let's see. I guess make sure this code is spinning. Sixteen fifty-three. And then how do I set this to out? Throw this switch. Time code out. And then I'm gonna power up the first one. Make sure the batteries are good too. Ho, oh, single-handed. I don't remember if I gotta select something in the menu or if I can just hatch it in. Let's see. Hey, hey look at that. Okay, 1653, 54. Now. Okay, I'm gonna leave this patched. I'm gonna throw this switch the other way. The time code in. I'm gonna rejam on the day, but this is a good test to make sure we're all set up. Time code in. Power this guy up before I patch it in. Ooh, that's dusty. I'm gonna wipe this camera down. This is from my last video, two videos back on um, buying a used camera. I haven't touched this camera since I recorded that. That was my last day out in the field. Farmland and dirt roads covering the US-Mexico border for four weeks. I do have some more BTS videos I'm gonna publish from that tour. Just haven't had a chance to edit them. 16, 55, 01, 02, 03, 04, 05, nice. Okay, so those are jammed. When we do this two-person walk-and-talk tour of this facility, I'm going to lav mic them. The lavs can be visible, which is great. And I think I'm going to feed both mics to A camera and then shotgun mic on B. I threw this shotgun on A too, just so it's ready. Because we need it to get the little uh, pistol grips. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use the electros or my road mics. I'm gonna prep both. I'm not gonna put the receiver on the camera. Where is it, right here? I'll figure it out on the day. I think I'm gonna to try to just use the roads because there's no frequency tuning that needs to be done. And I'm just, I'm gonna be within say 15 feet of the two subjects the whole time. But I will have the electrodes as backup. And then interview mode, I'm hoping I can just use a boom pole and not mess around with the lav when we're doing sit down interviews. All right, I've had this slate for a couple of months. I have never used it. The battery's in there. Got the cable and the locket box. So here's my rig. I know I'm obviously doing something totally different than what you're planning. But here's my side door. I slammed together this cabinet on a Saturday before a big road trip with the intention of making cabinet doors and putting in like a nice laminate countertop and then doing overhead cabinets. And it's been like two years and I still haven't done it. I got the roof insulated. I got a, a fan back there. This is a queen size, standard queen size mattress, which I can pull out. It's all just floating on ply. And then these um, Ikea cross pieces. So I've only done it a couple times, but if I do need more room for gear, I just got to set aside like an hour to pull the bed. But 
Uh, yeah, it's only happened a couple times. I'm pretty much in good shape. I got a little refrigerator. I got a camping stove. I put this in when I was still in California during the lockdowns when there were no public restrooms. I was shooting all over LA County. Nowhere to pee. And I wish I had done this freaking 15 years ago. It's been a lifesaver. Um, I got two five-gallon fresh waters and a gray water. So it's just a pump sink, sailboat sink. It's been awesome just for washing my hands at the end of the day. All my clutter goes under there. I'm on the road so much now, I basically can make a meal on the road instead of eating fast food all the time. And I really only sleep in the truck when I'm in transit. So like I've been to Miami a few times and I just, the two day drive, I stop halfway somewhere, usually like uh, Western Florida and I'll sleep in the truck. And same going back to California, I stay in Arizona. Uh, yeah, that's the side door. So here's the rear door, cargo area. So I've got a uh, 21-inch monitor, a gimbal package, my still photo kit, two FX9s, stingers, sandbags, four C stands, two American um, baby roller, three rise, a Manfrotto boom pole, two just like crappy Amazon baby stands, whole stack of five and one reflectors, two two by one Geminis, and then I've got my speed rail slider mounted on clips overhead. This is my default configuration, eight foot ramp, just folds up into a four foot length, and then it can either run on the floor right here. Eventually I wanna build a little rack so it'll store up here under the bed uh, or in the back. And actually I'm, for this job I'm doing the next couple days, I'm gonna leave the ramp at the house because we we're just gonna work off the truck. It's a single story medical facility. But I got two tripods that live on the cart. I think you've seen this the way I have it built out. This is my new audio kit, Mix Pre, Denneke Slate, Electrosonics, kind of standard issue stuff. And then you know, I've got basically everything I need to do an interview, two camera interview with this one cart. It's all my miscellaneous grippage, couple stingers, VNCs, batteries, basic audio, seven Lowell kit stands, um, my newer LED panels more LED panels, tools, and then this is small monitors, wireless transmitters, headphones, miscellaneous stuff. I've got a ProRes recorder in there. And then I've got touch and go on top. So when I'm shooting multiple locations in a day, I just clip the camera in right there on the side door, fully built. And then I can also put multiple plates on the countertop. I could do like three or four, maybe four, eh, three cameras safely on the counter. A door to the cab or I can fill in the center aisle with additional cases on bigger jobs and I've done some media managing here on the countertop and if the news work continues I'm gonna put a rooftop air conditioner in right here because uh, I've been doing live shots so we do morning news and then we'll do some news gathering midday and then I gotta do evening news hits but there's tons of downtime midday and in the Texas heat I have to sit in the cab with the engine idling I'd love to be able to take a nap midday so I think I'm going to spend the money and put the rooftop AC in this summer. All right, I'd say this is the standard corporate communications, corporate marketing video setup. You know, the gear may change in model and price point, but we're all doing similar setups. You know, two camera, single person interview, producer asking questions. And then the second op and myself each had our own punch list of B-roll to get. There was a lot we had to capture this day, so we broke each broke away and shot separate items. And then there was also a still photographer on site with their own punch list to gather. So we would have to trade out access to talent for video versus stills. And then when we could, we would combine setups and take turns doing our respective pieces. Good day, great team. It's an awesome crew down there in McAllen. Working in downtown Austin this week, driving into day two. I could have gone home each night. It's just under an hour and a half commute in traffic, but I ended up paying for my own hotel last night. I'm gonna to stay tonight as well. And I hit this point where I'd rather get a little extra sleep over making an extra hundred dollars a day. I mean, get a hotel room was, uh, I think tax and everything was like 110, maybe 120 a night. 
12 minutes from location. So uh, it's just a conference. I'm in a ballroom doing interviews, two cameras, B cam is locked off. I got an assistant that's mixing sound for me. And then uh, I also got a photographer shooting stills, uh, punch list from the client of stuff to cover on the still side. Today we're gonna wander around a bit and shoot more MOS, uh, man on the street rather, versus no sound. News acronym versus filmmaking. So MOS, the hall, the lobby, they've got an exhibit area. So we're gonna use that as a backdrop. They put us in this ballroom that's just empty. There's no furniture. So the, it's, I just have like shades of beige as a backdrop. So we borrowed a chair from the hallway yesterday and an end table. So I was able to dress a little bit, but I guess that furniture went away today. It's not available anymore. We did get permission. I didn't just take it, but it got moved to a different section of the hotel last night. So today I might, I have a Gemini I'm going to bring up and we'll do like a color wash in the show's color. It's like a purplish blue. Just put the light on the floor and kind of uplight the wall. And then I've got one of my crew members has got a RE LC7 LED Fresnel. So we may try to do a pool or a slash in the, the second color from the show's color palette. Well, that's the plan this morning. I didn't get any BTS obviously yesterday wasn't much to shoot. I'll try to grab a little bit today. Uh, it's like a, it's like what you see on the monitor okay. for a color ish. We'll probably adjust it a little bit. So if you can, once you get settled, um, just click batteries on our three lights and fire them up okay. our LEDs. That's why I don't, my voicemail greeting now, I, my greeting is please don't leave me a message. I don't check voicemail. There's just too much spam. Send me a text or an email, please. Did you want to turn your camera light on to see what it looks like? Uh, no, that'll be for when we go out in the, the show area and do the MOS. It's good actually, I'm glad you got glasses on because that gives me an idea of any glare. If you look at that chair, the left of the camera do you see okay and then look up a little okay right there i got a little hit but if i can adjust for that i think we're good i got the gimbal out shot a little bit of conference b-roll and then we've been doing interviews in here we're in um two-person mode right now which was not part of the original plan but we're prepared for it I'm just running a boom on one and guest number two is on a lavalier electrosonics and then we've got the lc7 and a gemini matched color they're slightly different but they're different angles so it looks okay this is our close-up and then we're just running a two shot here this is a great example i'd love to have a third fx9 or third angle but uh this was also budgeted as a single cam show that turned into a two camera. Second camera is a lock off, basically opping two cameras. And then I got uh, my assistant, Starling, on the mixer during the interviews. And they're nice people, it's super chill. We're only working about a quarter of the hours today, the rest is just standby time. So I threw in the gimbal little bonus value add and the uh, alternative would have been me dragging around sticks and a sony cam in the conference area i can get better shots faster with less effort on the gimbal so happy to donate the gear to the cause get better work and not tire myself out i always forget and leave that thing on and kill the battery <laughs> 